2018, mega retail giant Amazon announced it would be constructing an East Coast headquarters in order to better serve its massive global customer base. Among the many cities that throw their hats into the ring were Raleigh, North Carolina, Nashville, Tennessee, and Newark, New Jersey. And though Long Island City was initially chosen, issues with the project eventually led Amazon to the DC suburb of Arlington, Virginia. However, HQ2 as it became known was far too ambitious a project to occupy just one location. Currently, Amazon is building or renovating properties in several subdivisions including Pentagon City, Potomac Yard and Crystal City. But while the former facilities are your standard office buildings with standard office spaces, the Crystal City development has long been rumoured to be something very special. Most Virginia residents will recognise Crystal City as a large urban area boasting a number of both private and government facilities. It is frequently photographed as the skyline of Arlington and overlooks both the Potomac River and the Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. Just a stone's throw away from the nation's capital, Crystal City also provides easy access to the greater DC metro system, as well as the views from the White House and the Lincoln Memorial. Though Arlington citizens likely had high hopes for Amazon's contribution to the Crystal City skyline, they could never have anticipated the $2.5 billion facility recently unveiled by architecture firm NBBJ. According to the press materials released in February 2021, the location will boast a 350-foot tall, spiraling organic structure known as the Helix. Said to represent humanity's innate connection to nature, the innovative glass building features a vertically sloping forest on its exterior with outer walkways dotted by trees, plants and other greenery. Videos and concept illustrations for the building already show a stark contrast to the surrounding office buildings, which is sure to make the Helix an international point of interest. Even so, reaction to the building's design has been mixed at best. Though many praised its unique appearance and NBBJ's commitment to green, nature-powered architecture, other opinions have been far more critical. Perhaps the best critique came from the tech entertainment magazine The Verge, which compared the building to a poop emoji covered in trees. Regardless of prevailing public opinion, Amazon is all in on its HQ2 design and has already started hiring some of the 25,000 workers who will occupy the various Arlington facilities. One way Amazon's Helix will undoubtedly stand out from its competition is how it will integrate private and public property. While the Potomac Yard and Pentagon City facilities will boast first-floor retail and dining outlets, the Helix will attempt to go one step further. Indeed, like Amazon's Seattle headquarters, the majority of the Helix and its surrounding space will be fully open to the public on weekends. This will complement the 2.5-acre public space beside the Helix, which will boast an open-air amphitheater, farmer's markets, and plenty of greenery. If Amazon is good at one thing, it is creating a sense of opportunity where there would otherwise be just another business. Obviously, the prospect of entering the Helix was the first thing people thought of upon seeing the concept art, and though the structure isn't expected to see completion until sometime in 2025, many people are desperate to see what the inside of the HQ2 will look like. Still, we don't know too much about the interior at this point. There have been hints that the Helix's work environment has been heavily influenced, which many companies now predict will significantly affect how indoor office spaces function in the future. It's also rumoured that the focus on natural elements like trees and plants will be represented indoors as well as out. And while both Amazon and NBBJ have been pretty hush-hush about what working in the Helix might be like, they have used phrases such as alternative work environments and reported that indoor gardens and greenery would be tended to by a team of professional horticulturalists. This seems to imply that the traditional office environment of desks, cubicles and meeting rooms might end up having little representation in HQ2 at all. This assumption seems to be supported by comments from NBBJ principal Dale Alberta, who said the building would take connectivity with nature to the extreme. He also stated that he and his creative team were building a series of indoor atriums and gardens that are not a conservatory or a place you just visit, but a place you can actually go and work. What will the Helix be like? We'll have to wait until 2025 to find out. Still, given what we already know, it's sure to be something people from all over the world will want to see with their own eyes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like and subscribe for more.